these are the people who have been contributing to the cause in the Pacific Theater of the Second World War. Right. Many of them are Americans. I'm right. sure you are familiar with some of their faces. Yeah. Mr. Chanel. You can't for forget his face. He has the most distinguished profile. When you look at his profile, <laughs> the jutting jaw, that's Claire Chanel, General Chanel. Absolutely. Chenault. With the flying tigers. With the flying tigers. He was amazing. Ever legend, isn't it? Yeah, it is. and he's so amazing. He was so determined. You know, people who succeed tend to be people who are very determined in life, and he was determined to succeed, especially with, with putting the flying tigers together. Yes, indeed. And they did something wonderful to help China during the Second World War. And of course, the Chinese didn't forget that. They have not. Um, but you know, I think it's very important for us to help remind people of joint efforts where we, each country helped each other. Mm -hmm. People sometimes forget, and they have to be reminded somewhat frequently. And I'm very happy that, that's a, that this, um, all these museums are here in Chengdu, mm -hmm. especially honoring those who helped fight the Japanese uh, during World War II. Mm -hmm. But we have to be reminded, and General Chenault is, I think, is someone that we have to keep reminding people about all over China, not just in Chengdu. Yes, indeed. And also not only in China, yeah, but also in the in United China. States Absolutely. as well. Yes, indeed. And also General Stairwell. Mm -hmm. Of course, he even used to work in the embassy at the time. Yeah, he's quite a guy. <laughs> he is quite a guy. Much personality, isn't it? Very much. Uh, I read a book by Vinegar Joe. Vinegar oh, Joe yes, Stairwell. Indeed. Yes, Joe. indeed. Vinegar Joe. And what's the impression you have about him as a historical figure? Well, he um, was a, one of, the, uh, of the old school. He just, you work hard. Uh, you fight for your country and be of the highest integrity, yes. highest integrity. And you just don't suffer fools gladly. And you just work your very best for your country and as he did during World War II. He has this wonderful expression, I think it's very important. It is that the higher you climb the flagpole, the more you expose your rear end. Oh, <laughs> yes, That indeed. is, the higher you get up, the more people shoot at you figuratively and they give you a hard time. He, the two of them, you know, they 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 they, 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 were. they, they, <laughs> they had like a little bit of tension over there. there. But yes. they but they were here for the same cause, the same reason yeah. to deter Japanese. It's aggression. interesting because General Stellwell, he was pretty much for the ground forces yeah. because that's where he came from. Right. And also Mr. Chanel, of course, for the flying tigers, right. the air forces. And this is the debate that's going on within the United States about how to deal with the Pacific theater of Second World War. Well, I think back in that time, they're both right. Yeah. They're both right. You yeah. just, it, it can't be just one thing or the other. You have to work together. They did work somewhat together, <laughs> but it was a little, there's a bit tense. It but is. still the joint effort worked. But in a way, it also <laughs> reflects what's happening right now, because there are debates also inside your country, Mr. Ambassador, about how to deal with China. What's the approach? Uh, what do you make of those debates? Well, I think our countries are are actually working pretty well together. Uh, we both um, are very, the two largest economies in the world. All people are the same, the United States and China. We have the same goals, interests, and desires. Mm. Keeping that in mind, I think, is extremely important. Can It'll we keep us. those in mind? We Can have, we? I think we have to, and uh, I think we must, and I think we will. But yeah. it's up to us to keep reminding people of that. Yes. It takes a lot of us um, who's work in China and in the United States to, rec to remind people of that. That's really what I want to ask you, Mr. Ambassador. I mean, you were born almost at the time of the Second World War. Yeah. The great generation you have experienced yeah. in a way. Yeah. And now you are in a very important position as the U.S. Ambassador to China when the world is changing. So how have these gentlemen's experiences and stories in China, and their debates as well, <laughs> can you inspire your work? Well, you answered the question. They're inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> they're very inspiring. That's what they are. Mm. And they're great men. You know, I can't begin to be great like these two, but I could be inspired by them. Mm. And all of us could be inspired by heroes, um, inspired in the right way. That is, heroes who worked to help make the world better. I would do what I can to help Americans, help Chinese understand each other, because the more we understand each other and the more we appreciate each other's efforts to help each other, the more it's going to help this relationship work really well.